Hello! Today I want to quickly go over the event previews of Somnium Labyrinth Somnor Adventure Events, which is going to come out with the new update 1.4. So here we actually see this is the event that is going to get us a lot of reward, including Astrite, a weapon, a cosmetic, and other stuff. Now, this is a post that gives us a little bit more information regarding the lore itself. So here we see a train crashes from the dreamscape into reality, ripping open a gateway to the realm of illusions. A looming shadow greets you with a grim prophecy. The world will succumb to this nightmare, and night will reign eternal. Very spooky, scary skeleton. Now we need to be level 17 to be eligible to the events. We get a bunch of rewards here. I already covered them in the previous video. And now we have some more information. The Dreamscape Odyssey. Under the dome of a dark night, a single ray of white light illuminates the path ahead. A mysterious request, a lost delivery, an opening door. In a realm where dreams and nightmares intertwine, a massive shadow looms around you. When the night knocks, Look at that, beautiful. The Somnor reputation has torn open gateways to dreams across Jinjo, leaving people ensnared within their own illusions. Guided by a white cat, you search for your lost allies, each imprisoned in the labyrinthine realm of dreams. Together, you descend towards its deepest reaches. Very, very cool. So we can see like some of the characters here. I assume some of those characters that could be involved are probably going to be our friends that are stuck in the dreamscape, and we're going to want to save them. Uh, Dreamscape Odyssey consists of six dreamscapes which will be unlocked one by one. Rescue resonating companions from the dreamscapes. Together, you will delve deep into the Somnor to uncover the truth behind the nightmares. Yep, one, two, three, one, two, three. Six total. Makes sense. Dream Link! In the Dreamscape Odyssey, pick up the White Cat's blessing and accumulate Sync energy in battle. When Sync energy is full, Cast any Resonator's Resonance Liberation to enter the elusive Sync state. Very cool. Casting all team members' Resonance, resonance Liberation while in elusive Sync triggers Dream Link and activates the Link field, which dramatically amplifies your team's combat prowess. Very cool. Also, on a side note, we do have confirmation here. I know it's a bit small, but here this is some purple stuff. Which means we do have confirmation that she is indeed an electro character. Lumi, that is, the new character. Very, very cool. Now, the Nightmare Revisits. The looming shadow stares at you with its fiery eyes, as if trying to draw you back into the endless darkness. Enter the Somnor with your trusted companion, link your minds and spirits, and relieve your epic battle against the ever lurking Nightmare. Use the power of Dream Link to gain a upper end, an upper hand. So is that like a, a second part to the event? The challenge details. Select one main resonator and two support resonators to start the challenge. You will only control the main resonator while the support resonators will stay on the battlefield and automatically fight alongside you. During this event, resonators available include the Rover Spectro, Angkor, Yinlin, Chengli, JG, Camellia, and Lumi. So we'll be able to pick any of those and have two support companions that will be fighting with you. So you don't control them, they're just here as NPCs pawns, whatever you want to call them, and they fight with you. Uh, in Dreamlike, is, Dream Link is available in Nightmare Revisit Challenges. The Nightmare Revisit consists of six challenge stages, each offering unique rewards upon completion. Now we also have the Rift Runner. It asks you if beauty is fleeting and salvation is futile. Why not remain in a dream? Nightmares have torn through the veil of reality, wrecking havoc across the world. It's up to you to restore the crumbling order to the land, with the mystic boon of elusive sprints received from the same white cat. So here, this is the special dash that we saw. We can go very, very fast once we get that white paw. Hold dash to enter the elusive sprint state after picking up the white cat's blessing. In the elusive sprint state, attack to dash toward enemies and deal significant damage. Rift Runner consists of six challenge stages, each offering unique rewards upon completion. You can see here, you dash in, transform into a cat, and you explode the opponent with a big uh, paw attack. Very cool. So we are essentially, we, we here we got some more information regarding how the event is going to work. We get to do like some triple combat. Only a few characters are available for this one. It is what it is. But I think it's going to be a good time. The story has me quite intrigued. I am not going to lie, I actually really like the the elusive realm and the somnor 
Uh, I love the, the lore around the dream and everything that's happening here. And I hope we learn about how does the dream can actually impact reality so much. Uh, I hope we, we learn more things about the white cat and the black cat. I'm actually very, very looking forward to this. Um, I'm pretty excited. You can see here, it's so cute. It's like the massive black cat and this small white cat going like, meow, meow, try to jump on him. It's so cute. And uh, yeah, this looks badass. I love like the, the triple activation. We're like, every, like, we're trying to beat up that poor Inferno Rider. Like, he's trying his best, but uh, we're not giving him any chance here. Um, and yeah, the riff, the little elusive sprint is like so cute. I love like the little paws just floating around. Uh, and so now we do know this is not the overworld. These are specific stages, right? So it's like special instances in which we can actually like, you know, walk around and, and do what we're meant to do. So I assume it's going to be like a kind of race. Like, yeah, you got to go as fast as you can um, and like bonk enemy along the way so you can keep uh, going forward, essentially. It seems to be that way. So we don't really have information regarding like the rewards we get, but I assume they are actually counted in the reward we saw earlier, right? And actually, uh, let me boop something up because when we talk about reward, um, I was actually very interested here because if well, let's count how much Astra we can get, right? So here we have 800, 1200, uh, so that's 1200, 1000 here from the Phantasm of Mass. So that's uh, 2200, uh, 400, that's 2600, uh, 3200, 3200, so that's 34, so 3440. Uh, and then 600 more, 32, 38, uh, okay, 38, and then we're gonna get like 60 from this, or like 40 or whatever, uh, 38, yeah, so essentially we can get like pretty close to 4,000, it seems that we're getting like around 3,900 as right from just doing all of those, right? Uh, which is a pretty fair amount of pulls, right? It's it's not bad at all. That gets us, oh oh god, that gets us about um, at least twenty pulls, right? I'm not crazy. I think so. Uh, is it not, uh, 160 in this game? Uh, I think it's 160 basically, right? So if we get that many, that's actually gonna be something like yeah, 24 pulls. Uh, so a little bit over two multis, which is pretty nice. And those are only from the event, right? We're also going to get like rewards from quest um, and, and more stuff like that, right? So there there is more things going on. Um, but yeah, it's pretty nice. That's it. It's not the main story, right? Um, but we're also going to get like, you know, rewards for the companion story um, and more stuff incoming on top of the free pools, etc, etc. So overall, we're probably going to get something like at least 40 pulls, and even more if you're a battle pass uh, enjoyer and all of that good good. So yeah, overall, I think this is going to be pretty interesting. I'm super looking forward to it. I'm excited. Let me know what you think, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers!